Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Thank you for staying with us. Now, Penny Siopas, Bamboo Sabia, Peter Hugo, and Mungezi Ngapai are some of the renowned artists that have won one of Africa's most prestigious art competitions, the Absolute Atelier. The competition rewards young visual artists aged 21 to 35 with the opportunity to develop their talents abroad. Artists residing in South Africa, Botswana, Zambia, Ghana, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Mozambique, Mauritius and Seychelles are invited to enter. To tell us more about the competition, we are joined by who I think is another presenter here Morning Live, Dawn Rowland, who is at the Art Museum and she's a consultant as well. Dawn, welcome back. Morning, thank you very much for having me. We should again. give you your own presenter slot here. Thank you. Uh, talk to me about... The, for those that that haven't heard about it, but the absolute atelier, it's just kind of the inspiration behind the competition and, and what is the main driver? The main driver is us giving a platform for young artists to actually build their career, create their mm. brand. Um, their Latelier competition is the longest running and my personal comment, the most prestigious art competition mm. across Af the African continent. Um, we're in our 32nd year, so the longest running, mm. and we're giving the artists a platform for them to develop their talents. But I, I think what this competition has also done, it has identified, I don't want to use the word young in a pejorative sense, but it's identified artists that are really... I think on the cusp of greatness, that they've somehow this competition has created a gateway for people to sit up and go, you know what, that's the next big name we've got to watch and that's the person. Even if they come into this competition not as established as when they leave. I think the interesting thing is that not necessarily have to be, you don't necessarily have to be the winner, but anyone mm. that actually goes through Latvia and gets into the top 100 establishes a name for themselves. And the names that you've mentioned, and we have numerous, um, are still producing artists. And the, pro the, um, the majority of artists that come through the Latvia are self-sufficient. You have got artists that are producing, you have got lecturers in universities, mm. you've got well-established artists, and they actually create something. And it's an ongoing relationship with us. We've got one of our young artists that's actually curating her first exhibition, Liberty Batson's curating mm. at the Car Car and Car next month. So it's wonderful. It's not just a once in and out. It's a long-term relationship. If you have to pick up the phone and say, Penny, please and... Please and um, um, attend one of our meetings or please attend one of our workshops or please mm. attend. They will be there. And what is lovely to see is it's an ongoing relationship for developing young talent. Talking about ongoing, you've got a, a uh, currently you've got an exhibition going on. Yes, um, very interesting. We have got our Latelier winner, or one of the Merit Awards from two years ago, Gary Upper, and he's actually producing, and um, we're running an exhibition currently at the gallery, so please come and visit. Um, and he's from Ghana, so it's Ghanaian. We have, we are, we're entering Mozambique this year for the first time, so it's across the African continent. Brilliant. Talk to me about that growth, because... You know, it's one thing to grow a, a competition or something this prestigious in the confines of South African borders, but then it pick, gets picked up across the continent. It does really say that we, we are a little bit, we are a lot smaller than what we think. The people that that art community. Um, we and that's I'm smiling about it, but. Previously, it was just South African based. So mm. in the last two, three years, we've expen extended our borders across the African continent. And it's bringing in a bigger part of all this young emerging talent. And different voices, yes, uh, different diff ideas. Different ideas across the continent. And you'll see things which are different in Ghana to, um, to Kenya. Um, uh, there's a different caliber of work that's coming through, but it's also making South Africans pick up their game. Mm. Because previously, top 100, easy to get into. Now you're in 10 countries. So um, the pot has actually got a little bit I, I've got to ask you about that. Now that you're in 10 countries, the adjudication process, is it more challenging? Um, uh, luckily for me, I just have the privilege of looking at the work. I have nothing to do with the adjudicating. Sure. Totally impartial. But in As part of that discussion, though, when you're sitting and people um, talking about the quality of entries and, and kind of going through that process. The adjudication um, process uh, or, or process that's in place is... Um, a selective process. Mm. It is impartial people from third parties um, that, that get involved with the actual adjudicating. And yes, you'll see the difference in work over the last three years. You could have digitally um, focused. You could mm. be, um, there's been some, Colin, one of the movies that we've got on for Prosper at the moment is very much in terms of wood carving. Um, so it's different, different genres of work that are coming through. 
mm. but they enter because of what the prize is at the yeah. end of it. And coming through the competition, it's residencies. So it's residencies in Paris, it's residencies in New York, it's residency, residencies in Stilt. For South Africa, we've got a bag factory residency. It's three months to actually reside in the bag factory. So it gives them, it gives them tools to work yeah. with, but it also gives them and inroads them. and network, networking for the rest of your life. Quickly, where can people go to find out more? The LatliaCompetition.com. And um, please, any of the young and emerging artists, 20, 21 to 35, put your works in. You don't necessarily have to be, um, when I say skilled or schooled through yeah. university, you could have people that are actually non-traditionally uh, trained and they're still coming For through. Sure. Well, Lebo and I are both into paper mache. Maybe we'll enter something. Enter, we'll have it. <laughs> Dawn Rowland is an art and museum consultant speaking to us about the one of Africa's most prestigious competitions, the Absa Natalia uh, entries for this competition that rewards young visual artists aged 21 to 35 with the opportunity to develop their talents abroad are now open. So only the best of the best. Let's apply. We take a break. Anyway. Mm -hmm.